Okay, everyone, I'm going to talk about a, a neat little uh, Raspberry Pi uh, kit uh, that I, uh, I found this afternoon. <clears throat> it's uh, called the WD Pi Drive Kit from uh, Western Digital Labs. And um, the kit does not include the Raspberry Pi board, but it includes pretty much everything you need uh, to add a um, one terabyte hard drive uh, to the uh, Raspberry Pi without really using um, a USB hub or, uh, you know, a separate uh, a USB uh, drive enclosure. <clears throat> it actually will power both the uh, Raspberry Pi and the drive. Okay, now I've already taken everything out of the box. I just wanted to show you what the box looks like. It costs, the list price is $79.99. I got this at Micro Center for $69.99, uh, $10 off. But I want to show you what's included in the kit. And um, first of all, it comes with a, uh, a, a one terabyte, um, uh, two and a half inch drive, as you can see here. And uh, it's modified uh, to take a special type, uh, basically a, a USB, micro USB 3. Uh, connector and that that's kind of important. Uh, we'll sh we'll show you what what goes on there, but it comes with that It comes with a power supply a kind of a neat little power supply that where the plug opens up this way and um, it Has enough power. It's a 2 amp um, uh, power supply uh, with 5 volts it comes with a, um, a 1 gig uh, micro USD uh, uh, card um, um, or SD card, excuse me, uh, and uh, it's uh, supposedly preloaded with uh, a, um, a operating system that helps you get get things up and running. It then it also includes this uh, um, HDMI cable. It's actually uh, at an angle so that when you plug it into the um, uh, Raspberry Pi board, it will come out out of the case that they include uh, nicely. It has this cable. This is a special cable. It uh, has one one end that actually plugs into the um, uh, one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi board. It has this special plug which plugs into the um, uh, SATA drive. And uh, actually it's a USB drive. And this uh, plug actually plugs into the power supply. And finally, I have this, which is uh, plugs into the power supply connector on the Raspberry Pi. So basically what it, what's happening is that this uh, gets plugged into the power supply, and this then splits off the power to power both the uh, uh, SATA drive or the USB drive and uh, also powers the Raspberry Pi uh, uh, motherboard, and that's on this end. Okay. And this is a, um, a micro USB to a USB plug that uh, connects uh, these cables to the, uh, the power supply. And then finally, it, there's this case, which is really kind of nifty. This bottom part allows you to, to mount both the board and the two and a quarter inch drive, and then uh, you you would take this uh, larger uh, part of the case and simply drop this in to the uh, to that case, and uh, with both the hard drive and the um, and the Raspberry Pi uh, board, and it has a slot in the end. I don't know if you can see it, where all the cables can come out. So when you drop that in, all the cables you can fit all the cables and they'll all come out in this direction. So I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to show you um, after I, I've done some uh, assembly. Okay, we're back uh, and uh, what I've done, uh, this is a um, Raspberry Pi 3 um, uh, Model B. I uh, just got that. That's the, the newest uh, Raspberry Pi. This is the uh, uh, one terabyte um, two and a half inch um, uh, drive. And if you notice, these are the way the cables go together. They, um, we have the, 
one of the power cables that goes in here to the Raspberry Pi. We have the HDMI plug that goes on an angle here. We have the USB uh, 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 connector connected to the Raspberry Pi. And then we have this special um, USB uh, 3.0 uh, uh, connector here. And then this will go in and plug into the power supply. So that's the way it looks right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and assemble it onto, um, onto the, the base case. Okay, I've, uh, I've, I've put all the, both the uh, uh, SATA drive, or the, I should say the USB uh, uh, two and a quarter inch uh, uh, one terabyte drive on this side. And, and it basically just slips in. There, there are two clips here and a pocket. So that it just slides in there. The cables come out this way. You can see it a little bit. Maybe I'll pick it up a little bit and show you that. Cables come in that way. And then the um, then the uh, Raspberry Pi board also clips in to a, a little holder on this side. No screws. They, they're not uh, mounted by screws, but uh, it seems like they, they hold pretty well. And uh, you may have to play around a little bit with this um, one the power cable here. And, um, okay, so at this stage, what we're going to do is I'm going to... Uh, show you how it drops into the uh, to the case bring the case over here and you basically just pick this up I'm doing this one-handed so it'll be a little tricky and you sort of just jockey this around so the cables go in um, and uh, the necessary uh, power cables come back out let me just play around a little bit Okay, so now that now it's all tucked away inside the case here, and if you notice right now we have uh, two cables that are out. This is the power cable, and this is the HDMI cable. Now, since the um, Raspberry uh, Pi 3 has built-in Wi-Fi and uh, uh, also uh, a Bluetooth, you could use a Bluetooth uh, keyboard. Uh, without any any additional cables, or you could um, uh, also use the Wi-Fi for connection rather than uh, plugging into the Ethernet cable. It's really a slick little device, uh, and um, together uh, with with the Raspberry Pi board, it was on sale for twenty nine ninety nine, and this uh, uh, kit from uh, Western Digital, which was sixty nine ninety nine. You had a, have a complete computer for about $105, including tax. I think it's really a nifty little uh, little uh, way way to uh, get um, a pretty large uh, storage uh, for the uh, Raspberry Pi. Okay, thanks a lot.